be warned. I'm going to say a lot of things and I'm going to say them as if that's how it is. Like, it's like this and this is like this. It, that's my perception. It's how I see things and it's how I'm decoding everything. And so this is how, it's just the way, it's the way we say it. It doesn't mean this is how it is. I don't think that I am 100% correct because I know that I'm not. I know that not one of us, not one of us has got all the answers. I know that the only way that we can work this out is if we share what we think and how we feel and we do it without triggering people or getting triggered ourselves and we just try to sift through the information that we've got. So please just bear that in mind before you continue with this video. Let's get into some 007 stuff. Hey, how's it going? Um, I should probably, like, I was thinking about this and really I should go outside and I should have a nice, gorgeous, beautiful backdrop because I've got them here in Tenerife, really beautiful backdrops. But the thing is, I, I, need, I need to say this, I can't be bothered to go out and set up a, a beautiful scene for everybody. The information is what's important. This video isn't going to be nice for some people. It's going to be very upsetting for some people. Because what I'm going to say isn't going to be easy to swallow for some people. Talking about losing someone when someone dies when you lose someone in your life i've just been watching a video by sarah the alchemist and she's been talking she talks to her to her viewers to her subscribers they've always got questions about talking to their talking to their loved ones who have passed on talking to their ancestors and stuff all right I don't think anybody really gives this too much thought. But I've lost people, and anybody that knows my story knows that I lost somebody very, 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 very close to me. And it kind of destroyed me for about 16 years of my life because I couldn't get over it. So this is something that I'm qualified to talk about. I am qualified to talk about this because I've experienced it. When somebody dies, the person that you knew has gone. They died. Their soul is what continues. The soul is immortal. The spirit is immortal. But the person, the ego, and I don't get triggered by that word. Ego, when I say ego, I mean the person, like the, the, all of us, absolutely every single one of us, in order to operate this vessel, in order to be, you have to have an ego. Your ego is what speaks. My ego, I'm speaking to you now, and it's my ego that is operating the body and allowing me to speak. My soul, I can speak to you from my heart, and I could say that that is my soul speaking to you, but it does it via my ego. The ego is the driver in the driving seat. The soul is a navigator on a little radio. And the spirit, I think the spirit is something to do with the two. I, I don't, I'm not, I don't know about that. I don't, I'm a bit, get a bit confused sometimes about what the spirit is. 
but I think the spirit is immortal. And I think that the spirit is something about the communication between the soul and the ego. You can have a big ego or a small ego, but you've got an ego. We've all got an ego. Every single one of us has got an ego. It's not a bad thing. To be, ego to be egotistical is a bad thing. To be an egoist, egocentric, they're when the ego's got out of hand and got too big for its boots. The thing is, when the vessel dies, when the body dies, the operating system ceases to run the ego i see the ego as the operating system of the vessel the vessel being the, the body so when the body dies the ego dies now we talk about ego death and we talk about um g doing you know hallucinogenic drugs and having ego death i had ego death um when when I, I tripped out in 2015 I took some LSD and I left my body and I called that ego death because I left my body we say because we left our body but I, I think that we're still connected I think that the, because the body's still alive the ego's still alive it might be sat in the body it might be sat there thinking what the heck's going on The point is, when the vessel dies, the character dies. The person that you knew has died. When Alicia, my girlfriend, my soulmate, when she died, Alicia died. Her soul continued. Her soul carried on. And hopefully her spirit too. But the person that I knew died I'll never be able to speak to her ever again I may be able to communicate with her soul I believe I feel I feel I know that her spirit came to me on the 22nd of December 2023 23 years after the car accident which happened on the 23rd I believe her spirit came to me. But the character, the person that I knew, I never, ever, ever get to speak to her again. That's why we have to learn to let go. We have to learn that there comes a point where we cannot continue to communicate with somebody they are gone and we should let them go to sit there hoping that the person that you've lost is hanging around to talk to you do you not think they've got better things to do the person that you knew isn't there anymore. They've gone and you have to let them go. Their spirit and their soul are eternal and probably will come to visit you, probably will be around. But if you do communicate with them, just remember that the one that you're communicating with is the one that's been here the whole time and has been many different people. Depending on how many incarnations, reincarnations, because, yeah, I believe in reincarnation. I can't say I know. I don't know, but I do believe. Depending on how many reincarnations the soul has had, how many different people that soul has been so there's probably quite a few people 
pining after the same soul. Anyway, loss is the hardest thing. Loss is the hardest thing to deal with. And if you've suffered it, my heart goes out to you. Be strong. That's what they would want. Let's get into some 007 stuff. Mm. 